Hello, yeah. it's Simon Pink. It's Simon Pink. How are you all out there? Look, can you tell I'm a little bit excited? Just a tiny bit. I have got possibly my biggest guitar hero ever, ever, ever on Zoom with me right at the moment. I'm actually looking at him. You guys obviously on the radio can't see him, but he looks he looks almost like Jimi Hendrix. And there is a reason for that because he is by far the best Hendrix man out there at the moment by a long, 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 long way. It is Mr. Randy Hansen. Hi, Randy. How are you doing? Ooh, wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks you for that introduction. I appreciate that. Now, Rand Randy's sort of on tour at the moment. He's the highway char. He's on, he's on tour. You know, he's, yeah, he's taking I guess tour. I am. Where, where are you tonight, Randy? Uh, where are we? What, what is the name of this town? Uh, I love it. Please, what's the name of this town? It's Lenstadt. What is it? Lenstadt. 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 Okay. Well, you, Germany, Holland. Where is Lenstadt? Yeah, we're in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, get it right. The Netherlands, fantastic. So you're having a good yeah. time in the Netherlands, are you? Oh yeah, definitely. Don't say any more. This is a family show, Randy. This is a family show. We don't need to know any more about that as long as you're having the fun in there. Right. Okay, Andy. So we're a, we're a, we're a UK station. We're actually in a place called Norfolk. I don't know if you've ever heard of Norfolk at all Norfolk, in the UK. Norfolk, yes, I've heard of it. Yeah, fantastic. So, oh, look, you, you've really you, you've broken my heart. You haven't come on tour to the UK for a few years now. Is there any chance we might? Uh, you know, get you I to would come love to come back there. You know, we had a uh, last time I played there was with Noel Redding, and we we had to abandon the tour because the guy that that was promoting he had all the posters, and he every time he put up a poster, he said it got ripped, someone stole it. And I said, well, that's good, you know. So you should just keep putting them up. He'll keep showing to other people, but he stopped putting up the posters, and then nobody knew we were coming so we had to abandon the tour uh and it was a real shame because it was uh it was a really good sound that we had going with noel and and this drummer that i that i found that's played a lot like mitch mitchell oh man i, I know just so you can educate our listeners i'm sure they'll all know tell us who noel redding is or was uh noel's the original bass player for the experience of for Jimi hendrix Wow, what an honor! And that he's must from have been. England, and he's yeah. an English Englishman. And no, and uh, Mitch Mitchell, Mitch Mitchell is also from England. Oh, and uh, I guess he was a child star too. He was on. A, he had some uh, TV show uh, that he was the star of when he was really young. I guess, but there's oh, no God. copies of it anywhere. Nobody's ever seen it. Oh. So why not we must get that we must get a copy of that that sounds amazing look i've got a whole hot, long list of people you've played with i'm gonna sim through just a few of them so i've got paul rogers we're always getting free we're always playing free on my show paul rogers you played with mitch Mitchell, right. you, you, you played with him as well steve miller uh, out there buddy miles i mean i love the band of gypsies i'm and buddy's just got that great groove that he's got what was it like to play with buddy miles you know he was so solid he spoiled me for anybody who doesn't sit in the pocket you know and he it's does, like I, it's got to be in the pocket now because because once you're you're playing with buddy if it's a dance tempo you're dancing you know and it's just like <laughs> it's just perfect it, he I was love perfect him. i loved him he was a great guy too you know besides you know now look i might have this one written down wrong steve ray vaughan is that true you've played with him oh uh, stevie used to open the show for me and we became <gasps> really good friends uh wow. when i played in austin texas he was the opening act every time i played there oh and, my god and then uh you know, we became such good friends that we used to see each other on the road and and everything and and bump into each other he used to come to my shows i always come to his shows if we were oh. anywhere near each other you know because we were really great friends and it hurt i mean it yeah. was like a, it was like losing for me like losing an army buddy or something you know because we we would played so many shows together i used to go to his house and and hang out with him there and and play all his guitars and I said, man i don't know how you play these guitars they are the strings are so heavy on his guitars i mean like he broke his his guitar roadie's thumb indian thumb wrestling with him i'm not surprised what gauge did he use you remember oh man it was like his his g-string was wound no you know, it was like acoustic Old guitars school. it was like Jeez, acoustic man. you know it was like really super heavy i think he started with an 11 and then ended up with like a 56 or something like that and oh. everything in between was heavy as hell i oh, said i don't man. know how you play this man but he's got really strong hands 
Oh, wow. That would have been the gig of the universe for me. Going to see Steve Ray Vaughan supporting you and, and, and then you having Buddy Miles on the uh, on the basis. But that would have been. Look, I'm, let's go to a track. Let's go to a track. I'm going to play some Band of Gypsies. OK, and we'll come Great. back after this. Brilliant stuff, mate. Brilliant Great. stuff. OK, so a few of the people you played with there. I want to talk about your earlier sort of uh, life with guitar and stuff like influences from there. So let's come back in off that regard. Hold on a well, like, okay, that, that was the that was the band of gypsies. That was a band of gypsies, and who was their guitarist? Come on, Randy Hansen. Who was the band of gypsies guitarist? Who, who was the band of gypsies guitarist? Yeah, come on. Oh, that was uh, Helen Reddy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, come on, stop being horrible <laughs> to me. <laughs> I've gone right off you. Jimmy, now. you, you used Jimmy, to be my you know... favorite guitarist. You're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Oh, man. OK, so look, uh, we know that you're very synonymous for playing Jimi Hendrix stuff. I, I, I I'm still can't get over that. I'm speaking to you on Zoom at the moment, man. I'm quite... I'm, you I'm know, bit, I, I don't get my star senior, stuff, but you... I, I, I skipped my senior year to play along with the Band of Gypsies record. You know, I, uh, in, in school, I, I wasn't going to graduate. And they told me in the beginning of the year that I didn't have enough credits to graduate. So I abandoned school completely. And and uh, I didn't tell my mom, but I was staying home every day. I'd go <laughs> go around out the front door and in the back door and go back to sleep until she went to work. Too and, right. you know, and what and harm so, has that done, uh, you know? I had the house all to myself all day long. Oh, man. Look, look, so, and I played, I played along with every one of my records, you know. And then, then I, when I got tired of doing that, then i turned turn on the radio and play along with whatever was on the radio. Okay, man. Look, I'm I'm quite well known for doing Hendrix stuff myself. Hence, I've got the Hendrix guitars and stuff like that. I'm not any. I'm not a, a pimple on your backside, man. You are the best by a long, long, long way out there, Hendrix stuff. And this is how much this is how much smoke I'm blowing up your ass at the moment. When I learn Hendrix stuff, I don't go to the Hendrix stuff. I watch you playing it. You are really? honestly, Randy. You are that good that wow. I don't even bother with. I and I try and play along with you, man. And you're just on a different planet. I uh, so, c come on, tell us how did you get that good? Well, you know what happened is uh, when I started playing, I was ten years old. My father had just died in a car accident, and my neighbor decided to fill in the time by when I visited his son. He grabbed me, made me believe that I that he was angry with me he threw me in a chair and and then he came out with a martin guitar and started forming my fingers into a chord and put a pick in my hand and said shake it like it's a thermometer and this so is my first this is my first guitar lesson and you started and was, on acoustic as well i mean that's... yeah and i didn't really know what was going on you know i wasn't asking for it he forced me to do this and then i took a great interest in it and while he was showing me chords, he'd also put on records and show me what that chord sounded like playing with a band yeah. and how to recognize it. And it really helped me when Jimmy came along, you know, years later, I, I, he kept showing me stuff, you know. And this guy was way old, but and way too old to be liking the songs that he liked, too. Wow. But, uh, and uh, he helped me help train my ear to uh, hear now when I hear a guitar player playing, I can tell where he is on the neck. I can tell yeah. what string he's plucking, you know, and, you know, because usually everything is within fingers reach. So uh, it, it's, I don't know. He just trained me really well. And, and then when it came to Hendrix, I had to go off on my own and try to figure out what was, you know, and it was hit and miss. And it was there was no YouTube to even study Hendrix back then. I remember when I first started, you know, I had to just listen to the record, lift the, the needle back and, and try and work out what he was doing. It was it was an impossible. But you just have got it so spot on, my man. I mean, no. you are phenomenal at it. Really are. Oh, just, thank just, you. Just, yeah. I tell, you're you know so good. people I, are when they're young, you know, when you're young, you, you learn quicker. You certainly did, mate. I mean, you did. You're phenomenal. Look, let's play some of Randy's uh, Hendrix stuff. We're going to play uh, Voodoo Child for you. Listen, this, my, it's, it's quite a long track. It's about 10 minutes long. So stick with us. But my God, it's exceptionally good. Let's go with this. <laughs> 